Hey guys, what's up? Uh, back with another video, and today we are going to do my AEW uh, Forbidden Door 2024 predictions for this coming Sunday, June 30th. So let's get this on the way, shall we? We've got some good matches to go through. We've got 10 matches to go through, so let no, no time like the present. Let's get on with this, shall we? First off, we kick off with the first match. We have Chris Jericho, Big Bill, and Brian Keith representing the Learning Tree, taking on Samoa Joe, Hook, and Shibata. In a six-man tag team matchup, this one should be fun. Looking forward to it. Uh, I'm going to go with Chris Jericho's team, of course, because, uh, yeah, uh, Chris Jericho, uh, once you're in a few of Chris Jericho, you ain't getting out of it for a long time. So I think this is the first of many battles between these two uh, between these two teams. Uh, so w why not have the heels win to set up another match down the line? Hopefully I'm wrong, but, uh, yeah, so, you know, it, uh, as Jericho as Jericho is now phrased on TV, you're in the Jericho vortex, people. <laughs> uh, I'm enjoying Jericho's character at the moment. I know a lot of people are kind of uh, iffy about it. Some, uh, you know, Jericho and uh, you know, people are iffy about Jericho uh, in the year 2024, whether it's allegations or whether it's just uh, fatigue or whatever. Uh, but I'm enjoying the new character of Chris Jericho. The Learning Tree version of Chris Jericho, and that's why I think he will pick up the victory. Not because I, not because I like it. <laughs> anyway, uh, next matchup, we have the first match of the, we have the first round of the Owen Hart tournament. We have Brian Danielson taking on New Japan's Shingo Takagi. Uh, this one's very easy for me. I'm going to go for Brian Danielson. Uh, should be a fantastic match, but the the American Dragon will pick up the victory according to my predictions. Uh, next matchup, we have uh, AEW versus CMLL. We have MJF representing AEW taking on Hit. Let me try to not let's not try to mispronounce this one. Hetosterio. Hetosterio, I think that's how you pronounce it. He's a big guy. He's a big mass wrestler. Um, yeah, it should be a fun matchup. MJF coming back in his hometown, uh, his hometown of um, Long Island, New York. That's where he's from, the New York area. I'm probably fucking that up. Um, anyway, yeah, so uh, MGF, uh, I think MGF will pick up the victory in his hometown. Uh, no real no real shock there. Anyway, next matchup, we have Jeff Cobb defending the Never Openweight Championship versus a mystery opponent. We don't know who it is as of right now. Probably will be re revealed tonight on Dynamite. But uh, that is what it is. I'm going to go with Jeff Cobb anyway. So uh, I think if, the, if we're going to if we're gonna have a title change, I think they probably would have announced it ahead of time of who the opponent is rather than leaving it until the week of the show. So, uh, but you never know. Sometimes uh, wrestling companies can be a bit weird. So, uh, I don't see Jeff Cobb losing the... You no, know, New Japan's Jeff Cobb. I don't see New Japan's Jeff Cobb losing the New Japan Championship. Anyway, ne next matchup we have, speaking of uh, New Japan, we have the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship on the line as the defending champion, John... Moxley! John Moxley takes on at the former champion, Tetsuya Naito. Uh, I'm going to go with the one and only John Moxley to retain. Uh, so yeah, uh, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, it should be a fantastic matchup. These two had a uh, bloody match uh, back in February or March, early in the year, uh, when Mox won the title. So this is the rematch for the title, and I think Mox will retain and keep on being awesome, as Mox is always is. Next matchup, we have Zack Sabre Jr. taking on Orange Cassidy. I'm going to go with the one and only Zack Sabre Jr. to pick up the win. Uh, we need some IW, we need some New Japan guys winning on this show because uh, I feel like it's very one-sided at the, 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 for the time being with AEW. Uh, there again, uh, AEW have basically signed all of New Japan's big names. So uh, is it really that lopsided? Uh, it is what it is. Now, I'm going to go with Zack Sabre Jr. to pick up the victory over Orange Cassidy. I think maybe with some Trent shenanigans, but that did that did backfire at the last pay-per-view where I did say that Don Callis was going to get involved and Trent ended up losing. So, Orange Cassidy is a bit of a pain in the arse when it comes to predictions, but uh, I'm going to go with Zack Sabre Jr. on this occasion. Uh, next matchup, we have the Women's World Championship on the line. We have Timeless Tony Storm taking on Amina, Amina Shak... 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 Shak, Shak Shirakawa, Jesus, easy for me to say. Uh, the, mispronouncing these names. This is a, this is my uh, one of my worst um, worst times of the year for uh, thingy because I was like, oh no, I gotta learn all these names. <laughs> so yeah, uh, t timeless Tony Storm taking on me and Sh Shirakawa. 
for the Women's Championship, also for the affection of Mar- Mariah May. I'm going to go with Timeless Tony Storm to retain. I think there's more story to be told with Timeless Tony Storm and Mariah May heading into the Owen Hart Cup, also heading into the Wembley season of uh, all out, uh, all in, the all in, all out season. Um, so yeah, I think Tony Storm will pick up the win as we move on to the next matchup, which is the vacated for the vacant a- a- TNT Championship. Unfortunately, Adam Copeland suffered an injury at Double or Nothing, uh, which would require him vacating the championship. Uh, best of luck to Adam Copeland in the future. I uh, hope you a speedy recovery, dude. Um, you're being awesome. So get back, be- get better soon. Go kick some ass. Kick this injury's ass. Come back better than ever, buddy. Uh, anyway, we've got, we got a TNT ladder match for the TNT Championship. We have uh, Takeshita taking on Mark Briscoe, taking on Jack Perry, taking on Dante Martin, taking on Leo Rush, taking on a uh, a question mark that, that will be probably revealed between, between the Dynamite and Collision. I would I would uh, re- I would I would reckon. Um, so I'm going to go with Jack Perry. I think it's uh, probably the right choice. You know, all the elite members have titles apart from Jack Perry. And uh, the Young Bucks were just going to hand the belt over to Jack Perry after Double or Nothing. But, uh, you know, he has, to, he has to earn it. And I feel like he will probably sneak a victory in there. And uh, all the elites will have gold by the end of uh, Forbidden Door. With uh, the Young Bucks being the tag team champions. Okada, Okada being the international champion. And, of course, Jack Perry being the new TNT champion. According to my prediction. So that's my uh, my prediction for that one. Next matchup, we have Mercedes Monet take it, defending her AEW Women's uh, CBS Women's Championship against uh, CMLL's uh, Women's Champion, or not CMLL's Women's Champion, the, uh, the Stardom Women's Champion, uh, Steph Devender. Devender, I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Sorry for all the Stardom fans out there. Uh, why, why are you watching me? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. Uh, Mercedes Monet in a champion versus champion match, title versus title. I think Mercedes Monet will pick up the victory here. Uh, she's only just won the TBS championship at the last pay per view. Not that that will stop them because Willow Nightingale won the pre- the championship at the previous pay per view, and then just only to lose it to Mercedes. So, but I think with how much uh, how much stock they put into Mercedes Monet, I don't see her losing the title one month after she won it. So Mercedes Monet for the victory. And we move on to the main event, which includes this guy right here, right in front of my, right in front of you, Swerve Strickland, the AEW World Heavyweight Champion, defending his AEW World Title against the against the. Um, wait, did I miss Wait, hold on. Oh, I just fucking realised. Uh, Okada is the uh, Continental cha- the Continental Champion, not the in in inter- All these belts are getting confused. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Will Ospreay is the international champion. I might be getting that wrong. I might be getting me... Con- no, Continental Crown Champion is Okada. There we go. I'm having a fucking ma- meltdown. This fucking sun's getting on my nerves. <laughs> Anyhow, so we've got Will Ospreay... Anyway, so we've got the main event, Swerve Strickland, taking on Will Ospreay for the AEW World Championship. Um, I'm going to go with, of course, Swerve Strickland to retain. Uh, I don't think Ospreay loses anything in losing to the World Heavyweight Champion. I think uh, there's people out there that are fucking insane for many reasons, uh, but one of the reasons is uh, they think that they think that Osprey, if Osprey loses, he is doomed forever. And I'm like, well, okay, he's losing to the world fucking champion. Like, I feel like Swerve has more to lose than Osprey does, considering that Swerve has only had the title for two months. So give Osprey, give Swerve the victory. Osprey can win it in uh, you know in another time. Uh, it's not the end of the world if Osprey does not win the title on his first fucking attempt, for God's sake. Uh, nothing against Will Osprey, I love the guy. Uh, it's just that some of his fans are crazy. Then again, some of the, a lot of people's fan, fans are crazy. It's probably a side of me that's fucking crazy. I fucking do this every week. <laughs> Anyhow, Jesus Christ, I'm falling off the fucking rails here, dudes. Uh, people. Uh, anyway. I'm going to go with Swerve Strickland to retain, and uh, yeah, that's Forbidden Door 2024, guys. Hope you enjoyed my prediction. Sorry for the little ranty ranty. Sometimes it happens. Uh, anyway, that's going to be it now, guys. Enjoy the show. Enjoy if you enjoyed the predictions. Leave me a like if I deserve it. Tell me what you think in the comments. Leave me. Tell me who you, th- who you think is going to win uh, this coming Sunday, if you care. 
uh, if you don't care, you know, if you didn't care, if you're not, if you're one of those weird tribalistic bullshit things, I don't want to hear anything about it. So, uh, you know, it's like, you know, stop, like, uh, stop watching, you know, stop watching uh, anything AEW related if you don't fucking watch AEW and you don't fucking care. Same goes, to, same goes for WWE. If you're an AEW fan and uh, that's all you care about. I don't understand, I don't understand this bullshit where people are like, Oh, I don't like this company, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go on every single one of their videos and I'm going to comment on it. <laughs> because I have no fucking life. Get a fucking life, people, some, pe- some of these people. Anyway, that's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's going to be it now, guys. Tell me what you think in the comments, leave me a like if you deserve it. I've already said that part. Uh, this video is far off the rails. Anyway, <laughs> Anyway, see you guys, see you next time, and I'm out. Bye-bye.